Welcome back to Clandarcy for this week's match preview ahead of Friday night's game at the Liberty Stadium when the Ospreys entertain Castro in the Heineken Cup. Please welcome back. You had your first start since May out in France last weekend. Disappointment at the end of the day, but some good signs there. Yeah, no, it was. Um, obviously, it was a long seven months out for me. Um, it went so bad at the beginning with the boys on the off periods, but watching the boys play and then it was getting frustrated so it made me work harder my rehab, uh, my fitness to get me back to where I should be and um, Steve rewarded me with a start on cast and thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, really enjoyed my rugby. It's a tough game, French champions and we found ourselves under the pump but some great spirit, some great defence and we almost uh, snuck a win at the end. Yeah, like I said, we, um, we, we, felt we were disappointed because we knew we should have got the result. Um, they were obviously a good team, but I thought we matched them physically. Um, obviously this week now we just got to play smarter than them and just stop the penalty counter and uh, I think we can reward the fans then with what they deserve. You talk about the fans, is a busy period kind of for the team. Some Welsh derbies, Castro and then Northampton as well and the Hanging Cup again in January. The fans have got a big part to play, haven't they, to get behind the team in these games? Oh yes, definitely. The fans are massive, uh, obviously with their home games as well. Um, all get down there. They're like a 16th bit man for us, so uh, if they keep on shouting and screaming, then gives the boys a bit of a boost. So uh, hopefully now we can get the win on the weekend, uh, taking us into the Christmas period with momentum going through. It's a busy time, but I suppose on a personal level, you want the more games the better, just to keep on coming to get you really up to match fitness. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, you started last week. I just want to take control of the jersey now and just keep playing week in, week out. Um, it's a great, great bunch of boys here, a great team great coaches and uh, just want to keep playing and improving and winning things for the club. Ben, you're enjoying a good run of form in the middle of the field there. How, how's it going for you? Yeah, it's going well at the moment. Um, really enjoying it. It's nice to be in the centre where I've always played. So it's um, really, well, yeah, I'm really happy at the moment. It's going well. Is there a reward for you? Obviously, you've been filling in the wing and impressing, so it's actually a reward for that form to see you back in the in the centre. Yeah, I think so. I think as well as um, obviously centre these days is quite physical, so um, being chucked straight in the centre, I think, is uh, is hard work. So I think being on the wing as well has helped me just get myself into the game, get myself into the pace of the game as well. So I think it's kind of a good stepping stone as well for centres. Talk about physicality. Um, we caught the eye with a couple of monstrous tackles in, in the second half. Uh, you see we were pretty sore coming off uh, last Friday in Castro. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Saturday, Sunday, it was pretty sore. Um, but I think it was more the fact that it was kind of getting in the way. Uh, not um, Obviously, they were a big, big, big packs and the big backs as well. So I was just trying to just tackle them low and uh, obviously, just, yeah, just throw myself on really. Yeah. Obviously, we are disappointed to, to come away with just a bonus <coughs> point after the finale in Castro. But there's plenty to take out of that game and we can look forward to Friday night's return match with a bit of confidence, I think. Yeah, it is. It's, um, boys taking a lot of confidence out of that, I think, is, um, shows that we can beat uh, these big teams. So uh, I think uh, we, can, we can go into Friday's night with a lot of confidence and a belief that we can win Friday. And it will lead us well into the, into the big derby games then. Yes. It's an important time for the region, so we really need to be getting some momentum on and off the field, don't we? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, We just um, need to keep us... Well, we played well, uh, well, but we still lost. But we need to, we need to same, do the same again. But hopefully, come out with a win, and hopefully, that will uh, lead us well into the uh, Christmas period. Joining us now with this week's Worthington's What's On is Laura Jones from the Ospreys commercial team. Well, it's the last game before Christmas, so it's a chance for everyone to get themselves in the mood. Um, they can join us in the Ozone from 6pm right up until kickoff. Uh, stay out with the cold, have some fun, and they can even meet Santa. We're located in the North Concourse, so please just pop round and say hello. It's going to be a really chilly night, so make sure you wrap up warm. Uh, hats, scarves and gloves are all buy one, get one half price in the club shop and online, and that's available until midnight on Sunday, so don't miss out. Also, just a quick reminder to all the clubs and schools in our region that the deadline for Scarlet's tickets is 6pm next Monday. Uh, get your tickets for the biggest match of the year, and they're still just £10 per adult and £1 per child when a group order is made of 20 or more. Um, don't miss out. Visit our website under the ticketing section to get your order form, and all the contact details are on there for you as well. 
It's also not too late to book into hospitality for the biggest game of the year, so join us with Scarlet's on Friday the 3rd of January for a 7.15pm kickoff. Book into our black and white lounge for just £59 per person and enjoy a two-course meal, a premium match day ticket and the chance to meet an Osprey squad member before the game. For more information or to book, contact Savvy Jamal on 01792 616 507. Chris Castro, last weekend, um, what's the view after the game? Um, disappointment, satisfaction of the spirit, what, what were the feelings? Yeah, disappointment to be fair. We, um, you know, we probably did enough in that game to, to come away with a, a, a more favourable result, um, but we just weren't clinical enough at times. So the disappointing thing is, is that we're creating, we're just not finishing. So, um, you know, the one really pleasing aspect out of it was is that, uh, you know, Steve asked a lot of the players to deliver on some energy and, and some real effort and we, they t delivered that in spades so we, you know, that, that's really pleasing but we've just got to be better and we need to win those games. How frustrating was it those last five minutes when we were back on the line, yellow cards popping up left right and centre and just couldn't get over the line? Yeah, yeah, again it's just about making sure that we're doing our little processes right and again we've probably taken some learning out of that this week. And it's the chance for revenge so to speak this weekend, Castro come to Liberty for the second leg. Um, what's the feeling amongst the boys with an extra week to prepare? Yeah, genuine excitement. You know, they're they're a top side, and uh, to to have a top side playing on our home uh, home pitch is going to be good. So the boys are excited. We're really looking forward to a challenge. We know that they're probably going to be a wee bit better than they were the other day. We're definitely going to be better. So it's going to be a good clash. That's important. With some big Welsh derbies coming up to start building some momentum for the Pro 12 again. Yeah, it's an exciting time for Welsh rugby, I think, in general. And uh, you know, the regions bang, banging away at each other is going to be. Uh, going to be good so we uh, we were ex excited by that we just want to make sure that we get a good start out of this uh, good result out of this Castro game and then uh, look forward to the Blues so um, you know it's exciting times coming. That's all for now don't forget tickets are on sale for Friday night's game at all the usual sources that's the Liberty Stadium ticket office the ticket hotline on 0844 815 65 online at ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets and at Tesco stores throughout Australia. <laughs>